save water and put into your cistern. To begin, I'm going to take the lid off the back of the cistern. The next step is simply to inflate the bag by pushing it open. Putting your two hands inside it. You might notice at this stage that there are two small holes in the bag. That's okay, they're meant to be there. They just help the water to circulate once it's been fitted. The next step then is to place the bag upside down over the float and then invert it as you're pushing it in so that the open end is then facing back up towards me. The next step then is to fill the hip of bag itself with water. Now that it's fitted, I'm just going to add some extra water to make sure the capacity is reached. I'm going to flush it just to make sure that it's not interfering with the floating device. Which is fine. We can see the floating device dropped and it should come up again once the toilet begins to refill. It takes about 48 hours for the bag to settle, so it's a good idea to keep an eye on it to make sure that there are no overflows villages as a result of the bag interfering with the internal mechanism. The instructions for insertion are on the back of the bag. This tells you step by step how to install the HIPPO device. So HIPPO bags are only suitable for larger cisterns. So a cistern of 9 litres is ideal. Any smaller cisterns, they might interfere with the internal floating mechanism. If that is the case, and if you find you do have a small cistern, you can replace these with a small bottle. So a 250ml or 500ml water bottle, fill it with sand or stone and place it to the bottom. Obviously a device like that will only displace 500ml of water at every flush. Whereas the hippo bag is ideal because it does displace more between 2.5 litres and 3.5 litres every single time you flush.